Hey guys, it's Sasha Nicole here. I'm going to attempt for the first time to do a DIY activated charcoal mask. I've never done this before, so these results are live. I've seen many people, many other people do it. Um, I've seen excellent results. So first things first, as you can see, my face is really oily right now. I have on makeup. I'm gonna wash my face and try to get off my makeup. I've seen people do this with makeup on on YouTube and I don't know if it's because YouTubers, most of the time, the girls that I see, they wear makeup in their videos. I'm gonna take my makeup off. But for my sisters with long hair or stringy hair that gets all in your face and gets in the way when you wash your hair, invest in one of these. I got this um, probably about three or four years ago from TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx sells them, Walmart sells them. Um, and they're excellent. Sometimes I actually wear it around the house when I do housework because it keeps all your hair out of your face. And, oops, let's not get your eyebrows on your head wrap, Sasha. Push it back and it keeps all of this out of your face. So when I wash my face, I don't have hair sticking to my face and I'm not getting aggravated because you guys know I don't have any patience. Not that I have to show you how to wash your face, but just to be thorough, I'm gonna use a mild cleaner like a set of fill. So I'm gonna wash my face. Let's get started with our charcoal mask. So I still have this bandana thing on my head. You can use a regular scarf to tie your hair back. You just wanna make sure that your hair is out of your face because you do not want this stuff drying with your hair on your face. So I'm gonna show you guys what you will need. So here's everything that you'll need. You'll need a mixing bowl with a bobby pin. Um, I've seen people use toothpicks, but I'd rather use a bobby pin because it clearly has more surface area than a toothpick and I'm not trying to be here all day. So then you're also gonna need activated charcoal. Now you can get this charcoal online or in vitamin shops. I would look it up to see if they have it because this is not something that you can just get from Walmart. My mother had this laying around because she actually makes natural soaps, but I was about to buy it from Jet.com, which was the best price that I found online. Places like Walgreens and Vitamin Shop, places like that sell it. You can also find it on Amazon and eBay. And the prices range from around $10 to about $15 for 100 capsules. Um, I found it on Jet.com for like $5.37, free shipping with the first order. So I was about to make that purchase. Um, measuring spoons, a makeup brush that you don't mind using. Um, with us using glue, it's supposed to be washable. So I'm hoping that I can still save this brush, but if not, I'm not gonna be butt hurt if I cannot reuse this brush for actual makeup. So then you have your glue. It is safe and non-toxic and washable. And then I have essential oils that I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick one of these and just do a couple of drops just to help with the smell. I've never, ever, ever liked the smell of glue. So this is gonna help me <laughs> with putting glue on my face because even when I was a kid, I hated the smell of glue. You can find these on Amazon or eBay. I got these from Fabulous Franny, I think on Amazon. I think this set of four was like 20 bucks. I'm not quite sure, I bought this a long time ago. And then if you actually get the activated charcoal pills, you're gonna need a mortar and pistol. Just crack it open or if you have a hard pill, put it in there and mash it up with your pistol. And then I would pour it into this bowl. But if you're a G and you wanna just mix everything in here, by all means, be my guest. I'm not about that life. I'm gonna pour it in a separate bowl, just in case. But I will let you guys see my face. Um, I have some open pores in this area. Um, this is recent, I think this is a bug bite that I got. Um, and then I have some breakouts down here. So I'm gonna take my glue and the recipe I saw was calling for one tablespoon of glue. Anyways. Hate this stuff. I've always hated this stuff. 
I've always hated the smell. I've always hated getting on my fingers. Y'all know I'm a germaphobe and a clean freak. And I never thought I'd be putting this crap on my face. And I'm going to pour it in my bowl. And I'm going to actually scrape the excess out with my bobby pin. With my bobby pin, in case you didn't hear. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get, it, but... Scraped out a good little bit. Okay, so tip number one I'm going to give you. Have a paper towel off to the side so you don't put this crap on your counters. No, my bobby pin fell in the glue. Okay, so another thing to add to the list, a paper towel or a Kleenex to put this stuff on because Sasha doesn't like messes. I hate messes. Now I'm gonna take my activated charcoal oil. And my mom said, be careful with this stuff guys because it stains. And the tutorials that I've seen, the girl's fingers have been a little dark. So I'm gonna take my teaspoon, measuring spoon. I feel like that's a lot. I'm not gonna do that much, you guys. I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon because I, I doubt if, I'll, if that much is in one capsule. So I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon. I know you guys probably can't see it because all of this is dark, but I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon. And I'm gonna pick a essential oil. I'm gonna do eucalyptus. It probably is gonna tingle my skin a little bit too. And I'm just gonna add one, two drops. I don't wanna put a lot on it because I don't really have a carrier oil in here and I don't wanna put um, essential oils straight on my face. Not about that life. And I'm gonna take my bobby pin and I'm gonna stir it up. And I'm just going to judge it by color and grittiness. This better be worth it. Like I said, a tablespoon of glue and a teaspoon of charcoal. That was way too much because I even have, when I did a half a teaspoon, even when I did a half a teaspoon, it's still really dark. I'm just going to add a little bit more of, a little bit more of glue in here. I mean, this looks like a good consistency, consistency, but... I just want a little bit of more glue because I'm kind of freehand in this. I've seen, and the reason why I don't have exact measurements is because I've seen, I've seen so many different um, recipes for this. Boy, I thought my camera wasn't recording. I was about to be upset. Um, so I'm gonna put this on my napkin and I'm gonna add a little bit more glue in here. Add it that much, and I'm gonna stir it up. But um, told my husband, I was like, just be on standby. You know, if you hear me screaming, just come running with a warm rag <laughs> because uh, it's hard out here for a pimp man. Oh, can y'all see this? I'm kind of sitting in a chair and trying to do this at the same time. And, I didn't really know how to angle my camera so you could just look down at the counter. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Good consistency. It's a really, really dark, 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 dark gray color, almost black. Ah, the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm so nervous. Um. So, disclaimer, I have really sensitive skin. So, the girls that I have seen this, they haven't um, gotten a bad reaction. It does adhere to your face very well. So, my face is going to get red. Don't freak out if my face is really red. Do not freak out. It's a norm with this. Um, that's how good it sticks to your face to pull out those whiteheads and blackheads. So, let's get 
continue. Oh my gosh, I am like super nervous. You don't want to get it on any facial hair. So I'm going to go around my eyeballs, around my eyebrows. I'm not going to put it on my edges because I'm not trying to walk around here with no edges. And I'm just going to be mindful, you know, I don't want to glue my eyelids shut. So yeah, work fast because you don't want this to get hard without you applying it to your face. And I probably should have taken my contact lenses out before I did this, but YOLO. I'm going to start with my nose. Oh my god, it's just, oh, I hate the smell of glue, y'all. I really hate the smell of glue. I always have. But the eucalyptus oil is helping. My little BB hair is at the way. Okay guys, so it's all the way on. I wish I had gotten like in my nose a little better. And like as you put it on, um, you'll see like circles forming. I don't know if that's because I put too much of one ingredient versus the other. But I mean only with practice you'll be able to tell. It's already starting to harden up and I don't want to talk and break it up too much. So I just want to show you guys what it looks like and I'll be back to peel it off. So we can see the results. I would smile and say, you know, something cheesy and smile at you, but yeah, I don't want to smile right now. So I'll see y'all in a few minutes. <laughs> 